I'm currently at this beautiful beach and right behind me you can see airplanes getting ready to take off so they come like really low when they're coming in and then you can see them taking off in the opposite direction so that's really cool and then over here is this beautiful beach but the water is freezing cold y'all absolutely freezing so I'm not a fan I'm not going in uh, getting my toes wet was more than enough and then over here, we have like this nice eating area. Um, they even have a bakery and a few shops and stuff that you can go inside as well. So really nice, cool, chill. Oh, look, we have a plane getting ready to come in. Let's see if we can catch them. Coming in hot. I swear he gonna touch my bun, y'all. Hi. I'm sure he can see me loud and clear with my bright orange bathing suit. That's crazy. Oh my God. Wow. And he just touched down. See them here? Lots of different like touristy stuff. This dress is actually kind of cute. They have that lady t shirts. I'm at the beach having a grand old time. Look at all the people out here. I met a nice lady. She actually doesn't live far from where I live in Florida. So that's really nice. And um, she just really cool vibes. And so now we're just catching some waves. It's lovely. And then after we're gonna go get some food. Apparently there's a really nice restaurant that does like Caribbean food. They do like jerk chicken, curvy goat, rice and peas. So, I'm gonna take y'all with me when I go. I can't record because I get copyright, but I'm at a restaurant called Caribbean Blue. See it there? Caribbean Blue. Rum punch, pina colada. They put the whole bottle in it. You get your money's worth. Good. Show you guys when the food comes. 
That's what we said. You should get a lot. For your money's worth, we just start promoting. Just say, no spend one dinner. Share for the photo. So now it's time to try the food. Let's see. I got the jerk chicken with the rice and peas and cabbage. Let me just take a little something. This is not Jamaican rice and peas, but it's good. It's like they put a little bouillon in the rice or something, so it has flavor and it's not dry. Okay, so this is the cabbage. Mm -hmm. Cabbage, nice. Have a little sweet. Chicken look a little dry. It's spice nice though. Mm. Mm. Oh, the spice nice with the um for the chicken. Oh, I didn't put the sauce on the it yet. The chicken actually isn't dry. I have a little juice inside. That tastes good. Mm hmm. Let me see. Put the little. Let me see. Why does it look like barbecue sauce, not jerk sauce? What is this? Mm hmm. No. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Spicy food? No. It's good. <coughs> I have a kick to it. It's like a spicy, like a jerk barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. It's spicy though. That's spicy. If you can't take spice, this sauce is not for you. What's your favorite part of the trip so far? Um, for St. Martin, definitely my whole day. Puerto Rico, all of it. Love all you have to choose one. Um. Say Puerto Rico. Okay. What's been your favorite part of the trip, Dad? All of them. No, you have to pick one thing no, in I can't particular. Pick all of it because I just I can dry all of them. I said, what has been your favorite so far? You have to pick one thing. I just traveling around the island. Which one? Both of them. I mean, I've never been to. Yeah, I've but you have been. to. You can only choose one. I know you enjoyed everything. But out of everything, right. what has been your favorite? Take me out for the video. Tell me what's been your favorite. I'm telling you, all of them is my favorite. I've never been there in such a lot Okay, but I'm just saying, if you don't... I know what you're saying, Chantel, but edit me out to this. Judy, what's been your favorite part so far? One thing. Sightseeing. What was it? Sightseeing. Which island? You have to pick one. Puerto Rico. Sightseeing Puerto Rico was your favorite part so far. So far. So far. All right. My favorite part so far has been um, in Puerto Rico being in the rainforest. That has been my favorite part so far. A close second was ATV riding in the Dominican Republic. Little ugly self. So there's a comedy show tonight at 9.15. So I'm making my way there now. I will show you guys my outfit, but I think I need to do it when I come back. Um, because I'm on my way there. We can't record, so I can't really like show you guys anything while I'm there, unfortunately. I'm here. Really nice you ready? <laughs> we are currently in Antigua at Nelson's Dockyard. We just stopped over to have a nice, beautiful view of the dock. And look at that guys, just absolutely beautiful. And now we're gonna continue the tour, so come along. So not far from um, Nelson's Dockyard, we have Falmont. So this is where we are now, and the water is so clear. You can see all the fishes. 
we just saw a freaking tarpon a huge at least maybe like two feet tarpon that was really nice and then there's lots of like shops up here as well so you can come have a nice meal by the water have a drink oh the views are just amazing look at this I'm enjoying a fresh coconut water on Valley Beach going back in the water it's so nice and I'm having a great time I'm gonna just be swimming for the next two hours um, they have jet skis out here you can do you can do a bit of snorkeling or you can just chill out um, the nice part about this beach is that it doesn't have like a lot of the cruise ships and stuff so the view is just open water you know some views of the mountains and just more relaxed not a lot of pressure from people to buy a whole bunch of things so yeah that's nice and then they even have some beach chairs you can rent and sit down all right guys i'm gonna go back in the water see you later so now i'm eating the rest of my coconut Mm -hmm. You have to get it cut like this so you can have a spoon. Right. And you just have to dig it out like so. I already did my one. And you just pick it up like this. And the, and the spoon is from the coconut, this side of it. Mm -hmm. From this part is how you make the spoon. You just strip off a piece of it. You can dig all around it and get one big scoop like that. And right. it's real jelly-like. Nice. And if you think you like coconut, you know, like when you're making coconut cake and stuff, no, it's not the same. This is a coconut jelly. You have to use the dry one. Yes. This is not the same thing. So it doesn't have that overpowering, sweet, coconutty type of taste and smell. Judy, you're holding my thing crooked, you know. <laughs> This is raw and organic. <laughs> and uh, that's how you eat it. It's set good, you know. I think we're all done now. Mm -hmm. Scrape to the last. Yep. This cost me $5, you know. <laughs> that's a rip-off. Because I could go in my backyard and cut and this and one. eat it. <laughs> Them just, just charge you for everything. Nature give you it for free and people want to charge you. I'm now in St. Thomas, which is part of the U.S. Virgin Islands, and this is Beacons Point. Okay, Be down there, down there is where most of the local people live. Okay, now it's called Tutu. Tutu. Yeah, okay, that's where all the locals live. Um, in the 60s, the government sold those houses and left for $60,000. That's so in the 60s. Do they those homes for one of the three to four? New Island, Christ, Virgin Atlantic. So that one is Tartola. That's over true. there is St. John's and then St. Croix is way over there, but we can't see it. You, you can't see it. All right, I get it. So if you guys wanted to you walk around and say, if you want anything, if not, we move on to another stop. <laughs> Little Tobago, big Tobago. Oh, oh, little Tobago, oh, little Tobago in the front. Big Tobago, yeah. All right. I'll be like the British Virgin Islands. The next one up is Joe's Van Dyke. Joe's Van Dyke, Joe's Van Dyke have a history. Every New Year's or All Year's Night, <coughs> excuse me, they have one of the biggest parties in the world. People from all over the world go to the island to party. Rich, poor, millionaire, billionaire go to the island to party. One night only. Wow. You drink, you sex, you walk naked, you do whatever you want to do. 
When the night is over, you come back to be a little bit of a kind of damn play with <laughs> And act like nothing yeah, happened. Nothing. But that's the truth though. Whatever happened on the yeah. island stays on the island. Yes, night, everybody go to the party. The next one is Joe's uh, Statola, sorry. The big one in the middle is Statola. All the way over there? Yeah, that's Statola. Okay. Now this part where you're at now is called Sir Francis Drake's seat. The old English pirate Sir Francis yeah. Drake. Yeah. Now he's the side back there. If you look back there, you can see a seat. But he didn't sit on that seat, he stood on the seat.